Good afternoon, my loves. It's spiritualist Sherry Lan here. I am just doing a little bit of a tutorial today on shuffling cards, tarot cards, and we're just going to go ahead and cover some different, different concepts. So the first thing I always do, of course, is sage and cleanse myself and my tarot cards. So to do so, the way that I like to do it is I have my sage dish here, my shawl, and I just kind of run it over. I like to use some Palo Santo. It's a sacred wood from the sacred tree, the holy tree. And it brings all the good spiritual energy back into the area. It's very sacred. I love the smell of Palo Santo. There's nothing quite like it. So we're welcoming our spirit guides, our ancestors, our higher selves and the angelic realm to join us. All right, so <clears throat> these are those Argon pyramids, Argonite, I'm trying to remember how to say them. They're, they're, I like them for charging my decks. So I'm just gonna pop those on top. And <clears throat> I also like to use clear quartz. Um, these are definitely great for charging charging up cards. So this one's a pyramid. And if you really want, you can also use selenite. I don't normally use all three of these guys while I'm charging my deck. It just really depends. And I just leave them there for a few minutes. And while I'm leaving them there to charge up, um, I take some time to basically ground myself and just take a few breaths and make sure that I'm centered and I've released any energies from the day, um, you know, and that I'm fully focused and I've opened my channels, try and raise those vibrations a bit, okay? Um, so there you have it. I usually like to light some incense when I'm doing a card reading. I always have my candles going. Um, all right, so then the other thing I wanted to mention too is that when you first get a new deck of cards, it's always great to program them. Um, you can, basically how I do this is I hold it to my heart chakra, um, your heart center, and you just say a little prayer for about 30 seconds or so. You just take a few deep breaths and really open your heart to the cards and ask your higher self to connect with the deck. Um, and that's basically reprogramming them. Um, so I like to do it for a minute or two, but um, at least like 30 seconds I would say would be sufficient. <clears throat> so that's holding the cards to your heart center. We have breathing and meditating to raise your vibrations so that you can connect to divine messages and source more freely and smoothly. And of course, your readings will always be more positive and more connected. Make sure to relax and lose the fear when you are shuffling. Today's tutorial is only on shuffling uh, techniques, so just relax, lose your fear. Um, you know, there is no right or wrong way to shuffle, okay? It's really what is best for you, what's most comfortable for you, what works for you. And, um, you know, however it is that is going to allow you to do readings more smoothly and more effortlessly, okay? So this is enjoyable. It's not, um, 
you don't need to tense up or, or get nervous or you know tighten your muscles you just really have to relax loosen your grip on the cards and allow them to flow freely okay um, it's not really like casino shuffling they're quite firm with their cards with tarot reading you just want to be very gentle because we don't want to damage the cards or bend them in any way making sure that you're center and grounded sage Paulo uh, you know that you're you got some music going some candles and that the energy in the room is clear All right, so let's start out. So the first one I'm going to talk about here is your three pile cut So that's like the most common type um, A lot of tarot readers do this so basically I'm just, I have two decks of cards here because I like to shuffle with the bigger ones for this tutorial. Um, so your three pile cut, you have your cards and you just want to make three piles like so, right? And then you want to, you can put them back together however you like and you just keep doing this. Some people do it seven times, but you can do it how many ever you need to, okay? And then the other thing you can do as well is you can cut, make the three piles, you know, and then you flip the top cards, right? So you would have your eight of swords, or sorry, your nine of swords, you'd have your you know, king of swords in a reverse, and you would have, you know, your wheel of fortune in a reverse. So that wouldn't look too great for a reading, but there you have it. And then that would be your three card spread, okay? Um, so that's another way to do it. I don't typically use that technique myself. Um, however, that is a traditional, one of the traditional ways of um, cutting and doing tarot. Okay, now the next one I'm going to uh, talk about is casino style. It's like the riffle. So you just want to take your card, your deck of cards, cut it in about half. And then you want to grab the cards like so. I'll do that a couple times so on different angles so you can see me here. Um, now, this is important because a lot of these casino shuffling, um, they they bend the cards. Like they push the cards in with their fingers like this and they push it in and they arch it. Not recommended for tarot or oracle, okay? All you want to do is just relax and allow them to just fall. You don't need to bend the cards. You don't need to push them together. Nothing like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that a couple more times. Do it a couple more times here for you. I think I'm going to use the other deck. These ones are pretty small for me to do for the tutorial. But basically, I just kind of allow them to fall together. And I'm going to use the other deck now to show you... Uh, show you that a little bit better okay this is a bigger deck so that would be your casino shuffle uh, the riffle the riffle technique um, so the other cards I don't want to bend because they're a brand new deck so these ones here I can bend a little bit there you have it, but you just want to be careful and be gentle not to damage. And then if they're really stiff, I usually just kind of go like this with them. Like, the more you practice shuffling, the better you're going to get, the more comfortable you're going to be with it. Um, and then the more naturally it'll, it'll come for you. So that's the casino style. Um... And then there's that bridge one where they come down with it, but I, I don't know how to do that one, so not good at that one in specific. So that was the casino style riffle. And we have the side swipe. So your side swipe technique is 
this. There's two ways you can do this. So this is a big deck of cards here, but let me see if I can do this for the video. So you bring it up and you just go over top. Let me see if I can do this a little bit better for you here. See how one jumped out? That's a message from spirit. Those are always the priority. So when I when I'm doing my card readings, I always just shuffle until basically, um, you know, until my cards come right out of the deck. That's how I like to do it. So I'm just the side swipe is just basically you holding all the cards in one hand like this, and having your left hand here, and you just kind of shuffle like this allowing some of the top ones to fall on top of the other pile, like so, okay? And I usually just do this until one falls out. See, there you go. And that's the exact same card that came up the last time. So that's spirit, okay? Um, so that's your side swipe. That's the most common one that you see people doing. Um, and then there's the top, top bottom technique for shuffling. And this one here is basically like top bottom, top bottom, top bottom. So it's the same, it's kind of the same as the side swipe, like the side swipes like this, just on top, right? But the top bottom one is similar. It's just top and then a couple on the bottom. Top, couple on bottom. So you want to, let me see here if I can do it this way. I think I'll try with the smaller duck on this one. Okay, so top, bottom, top, bottom, top, kind of like that. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. So you're basically putting some here, some there, some here, some there. I don't like that one because I feel like I drop more cards easily and I actually want the cards to come out that spirit chooses and then see that one just leaves too much room for error for me, me personally, because um, I have some nerve damage and for me, I don't have as much feeling in some of my fingers. So that one's a little tougher for me, but that is a common one. Then you have your fanning method. You should, many people are very familiar with this method. So let's see here. So you're going to take your deck. You're going to lay it flat and square. Sorry, I'm trying to do this so that you can actually see properly. And you want to just kind of go like this. and fan it out nicely. Okay, so that's the fanning method. You can ask your client to choose the card that's calling to them. You can also, that's the fanning method, so you can um, use your pendulum. So if you want, you can take your pendulum and, you know, ask which area you know which area and you can use your pendulum to find out so this one here is pointing to over here and over here so then I would you know go a little closer and it would show you um, or you can use your intu intuition and your senses and just run your fingers over the cards you know just feel feel over the cards and you'll know when it feels warm or tingly or your intuition is telling you which card, then you just take it out. Okay? So that's, you know, that's how you would do that method. Um, and then, the, of course, the last method I wanted to talk a little bit about. This is the last method. And this one I would personally title The Whirlwind. So, and a lot of people are familiar with this. Um, you're going to want a large table 
for this um, this specific way of doing it but you know you're just gonna take both hands and you're just gonna run all your cards all over and swish them around and it's like a big pot of soup mixing it all together and um, you know you want to take some of them flip them around so you know and just really mix them up and then you put them back all back together put them all back together and then you go ahead and do your spreads so um, I hope that you ladies um, enjoyed this tutorial and that um, it gave you a little bit of an idea on how different types, different techniques you can use to do shuffling. Um, it really, like I said, it really is all about what is most comfortable for you, uh, you know, what works best, what it, you have more control over the cards, but um, mainly just allowing it to flow naturally and flow freely. That's the key. And practice. So just get your deck out while you're watching TV and just practice shuffling. Just really get comfortable with your cards. I know with Tarot and Oracle, there are so many different sizes of cards. Um, so basically just try with different, uh, different sizes and different, um, you know, different cards to, you know, just to get a really good feel of that. So I hope you ladies enjoyed this video and I will do a couple more in the coming days.